That really didn't make sense, my friend. Yeah. yeah. But Watch it out. Reminded us a little really, bit. Really, Anthony, bad. before we go to break, uh, uh, mm-hmm. talking about this murder crap. Yeah. You got to tell a story about your old house that ended up on the news. Oh, yeah. Right after we moved out. This is a sick story. How old were you when you moved out? Um, about uh, 15. And you were, uh, and this uh, house was in East Northport or something like that? Yeah. East Northport. This was one of the houses you grew up in? It was in Elwood, behind Fred's Diner on Barry Place. How many, uh, look it up. How many years were you uh, living there? Um, quite a few. Well, I lived there when I was a real little kid, like maybe uh, 11. And then I went to California and lived there till I was about 15. And then uh, came back and lived at this house for a little while again, because my mother and uh, brother and sister were here. So uh, we moved out. And uh, a nice family moved in. I guess it was a a father who had custody of his two kids, a boy and a girl, Uh, uh, son and daughter about, I guess the son was, I'm guessing, probably 9 or 10, and the daughter was 12, 13, somewhere around there. And I just want to paint the picture. This was the house where you had the Christmas tree and all the presents for everybody. Some of the best childhood memories ever. It was really nice. We what, had. Uh, when you think about your childhood, this is the house, mm-hmm. pretty much. The house. Oh, you have to take a leak. No, there's some people in the studio. I'm thinking a celebrity. Yeah. Who is it? That's George Foreman. George Foreman's here. Yeah, George. Foreman. I know. We'll get. We'll talk in, uh, about. The, but Anthony's got to finish his story, yeah. and I have to take a leak so bad that I'm getting nauseous. Uh oh. So anyway, the house yeah. you grew up with, the Christmases, yeah. birthday parties, mama, mama cooking the nice Italian sauce. You, oh, oh, you could still smell the aroma, right? Anthony? This was the house that I grew up in. As I remember growing up, uh, this was the house. All of our pictures uh, in the house, um, like Opie said, Christmas, things like that, and um, holds fond memories. And uh, right after we moved out, this, this family moved in. This man and, and his uh, son and daughter. And uh, about a month or two later, uh, I see a picture of our house on the front page of uh, Newsday out there on Long Island. And the angle of the shot is exactly like a picture I have of the house. It's like, and I'm, I'm thinking, why is the picture I took of the house in the newspaper? But it was just, you know, the news had taken a picture from the same angle. Very nice house. Uh, apparently, the um, son and daughter were at home. The father was coming home. I guess he was angry at something. Uh, knocked on the door. The son and daughter open the door, and uh, he shoots them both in the face. <laughs> <laughs> shoots them both in the face where they uh, died um, on the linoleum that me, my brother, and mommy put in uh, in the front foyer. Very, uh, Very proud of that. And then he went in. And shot himself in the head. <laughs> yeah. There it was. Uh, my happy little house. And you saw, like, uh, your house on the news and all that, right? Oh, yeah, it was on the news. They are bringing the bodies out. That's and awful. It's my house. House I grew up in. Right there on uh, Barry Place. Mm-hmm. All right. We gotta find that old. Uh, we gotta find that story. Oh, find the story. Yeah, it's gotta be online. So long time ago. All right, we really gotta take a break. We gotta take leaks. We gotta see what George Foreman's about.